Good morning. This is Christy from the Be The Light YouTube channel and I thank you so much for stopping by. I send you love today, tomorrow, and continuously. This video is about the new moon which is now in Aries and uh, I began feeling the effects a couple of days ago and I was a little irritable um, with my emotions and that should have already told me that uh, the new energies were coming in um, but because of parts of my spiritual growth process I really didn't think about it um, so I wanted to um, explain to you how um, moon cycles well this m new moon energy can affect our moods and um, a new moon can affect um, our mind or our conscious mind and our emotions um, it is the mind which is emerging into darkness just like the moon does um, so during the new moon phase the nights are dark as they're eliminated illuminated only by the natural light of stars and other celestial objects the naked eye cannot identify the moon's proper position during this time and this is due to the fact that the new moon blends its entirety um, with the darkness between the stars during this time the new moon controls our mind and our emotions and makes us mimic its behavior like the absence of the sun's light reflecting off of the new moon our awareness becomes easily darkened and hidden from view especially around emotional and primal matters although the new moon may be hidden from sight we should never underestimate its powerful influence upon us Luckily, uh, we won't experience um, this darkness forever, as it is a fast-moving cycle. Um, the new moon is like a magnet which draws out very specific experiences, external and um, internal experiences for us to go through. It is a good time to actively consider what you want to manifest for the rest of the month. So set your intention, your focus, and your efforts. Um, it's a great opportunity to become responsible and set your emotional tone and be a little more receptive for the rest of the month that is if you can keep your cool during this transition don't panic or get too irritable in this dark phase whatever you do be mindful that everyone is in the dark with you um, during the new moon the motives behind any activity you undertake will be um, shrouded in a great deal of mystery um, and similarly the, the motives behind the activities of others will also be unclear so be warned instinct takes center stage during the new moon so it's a theater of the primal that you enter into the absence of the full moonlight Be mindful as um, as a possible way to stay positive okay guard against all variety of all negativity with your might your mighty will whatever energy you feed during the new moon phase will be stored in your vault and will amplify amplify later in life or in this month this could ob obviously be positive or negative so to get the best out of this choose your battles 
Um, and that's very funny because um, I did have an outburst this morning, um, which is very unlike me. So um, I am going to be a little more mindful. Um, and of course, I, after that incident took place this morning, I I realized it instantly that oh no 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 this is not me I don't know what's taking place and that's when I came up here and I realized it was the the new moon um, and um, it all made sense why I was um, feeling so irritable um, beginning yesterday so um, that's why I'm doing this video today and I'm also very very cold. Um, um, which is the, the cooler energies of what this new moon is bringing into us. So this new moon is in Aries, and um, from what I understand, this is um, the beginning of the astrological year. Us as human beings have already been going through the the year, physical year, I guess, you know, as of January, but the astrological year um, begins in Aries. Um, so we have already had a crazy, crazy week with um, the spring equinox coming in and Mars um, and Jupiter, you know, coming together for the first time in um, a long time and and then Saturn um, moving out of Capricorn and into Aquarius which hasn't if I understand correctly hasn't taken place uh, uh, for two and a half years um, and there is that was the period of clearing um, um, the karmic cycle or the end of a karmic cycle so that's good news anyway um, so as I was explaining uh, with my recent emotions that you know these emotions will come up out of nowhere but um, for yourself you probably or could be feeling the effects for the entire week just like a pile up and a pile up and a pile up or one thing that leads to another and to another and to another um, and it's hard to pinpoint where are all of these things coming from they are just coming out of nowhere um, and remember every time we hit a new phase or a cycle a new moon or a gateway or energy is coming down which is all the time we have a clearing that has to take place before we can we receive something or before the realization of our receiving can take place um, the new moon is hanging around with and I, I don't know if I am saying this word right cheer on which is the wounded, the wounded healer, um, which is a very active um, asteroid, and we will be drawn to think about ways to heal ourselves, each other, and the planet. And this is a very good time to do this, you know, or it may seem like it is taking place uh, in the collective because it is. What's going on around us? We have this this uh, huge virus that is um, it seems like it's just taking over the entire planet uh, people are afraid people are being locked in but yet people are coming together um, families are hanging out with each other uh, people are reaching out to people that they haven't probably spoken to in a long time people are being more of assistance um, and we don't get to hear about all of this kind of stuff the good stuff during this hard time because it's overshadowed by so much darkness um, the media wants to just show you a lot of fear to keep you in fear 
But there is still a lot of good that's taking place on this planet, whether or not you realize it, whether or not you see it. Um, there's less traffic. There's people, again, we're being stuck at home or being um, asked to stay at home. Um, and um, you might see it as, well, now I can't make income or I can't go out and do, you know, the, the normal things that I, I used to do. But this is the time of coming together and enhancing more love in any way that you see fit. And it makes sense with what's taking place in the in um, the heavens as well. So um, think about it like that. Um, it is happening for a reason that is far beyond understanding. All of this is. Even your emotions that are coming up with this. So... Um, uh, we have been, because of all the things that are taking place um, with these, the new moon and the cycles that are taking place in the heavens, um, we have been basically asked to change our routine, change certain aspects. And again, it's already been showing up in our reality um, prior to the cycle actually being here and that's what takes place sometimes it's uh, the energy reaches a lot of us prior to the actual phase showing up like i am very sensitive i will pick up on the energies um sometimes a week ahead to a few days sometimes it's only a few days ahead but um I know when a new cycle is coming um, and a lot of other people can feel that as well. So Chiron, again, if I'm not saying this correctly, please forgive me, is the wounded healer. Um, he has the gift of being able to take its wounds and make them powerful portals, portals of healing. So the question is, how can we, during this time, embrace the same energy? How can you heal wounds um, and emotions that are surfacing in your life right now? Um, be mindful of allowing your emotions to boil over and try to act from a place of calm and ease. Take your time and think things through and don't be impulsive um, interestingly this new moon falls at four degrees of Aries which has been a trend back in February the new moon was a four degrees in Pisces and, and in January the new moon was at four degrees in Aquarius um, and even in December the new moon eclipse was at four degrees of Capricorn and if you don't know what number four represents, it means your, your foundation. Just like a home has four corners, four walls, it means your structure, your foundation within yourself should be strengthened. And it is the sense of home within ourselves. So how can you make your home within yourself more stable more calm more loving nurturing um and the four degrees of aries is actually a very spiritual sense of sensitive degree of this zodiac it indicates advanced psychic energies and the ability to ascend to higher realms while still remaining grounded um, at this time we could all deepen our connection with spirit and that is in any way that you see fit um, how can you be a vessel for spirit how can you allow spirit to take the lead in your life and show you the way forward this is all again 
going back to having that great foundation. Without something, whatever you truly believe in, God, the universe, spirit, source, um, energy, it's all coming from one thing. And um, it all is God. And you need to find that great structure and utilize it in every aspect of your life um, but doing it from within okay because nothing will manifest outside of you without it being within you um, so you know the most powerful intention that we can actually do especially through a new moon it's setting the intention of new beginnings okay is to surrender surrendering leaves you open to a whole lot more and that's something that I did um, almost two you know, this summer will be two years ago I completely surrendered which opened things that I have never imagined yet when they were open and given to me it was my home it was always familiar and it was always mine and the more that you continuously surrender as you are moving forward and with whatever comes up you are given more than that and you will always see oh yeah and this was always me this is Christy much love, health, and healing your way. I am bringing purpose to your life. Take care.